there, and welcome back to the Claire Coats channel. In today's part of our Shopify 2.0 Editing the Dawn Theme Tutorial, Part 5, we will be adding additional options for the button positioning, this button on this image banner, um, or the CTA, the call to action, right? So we want to be able to move this uh, in more ways. So if we click on image banner, you can see that we can already move it bottom, center, or top. But in this tutorial, we will learn how to add this called desktop button side selector, and we can move it to the right, or we can move it to the left, or it can remain in the center. And it can do this for all vertical positions, and now we're adding the horizontal positions. And so yes, all the movement, mwahaha. And we will be doing this using the liquid template. So this is templating right here. And we will also be adjusting the CSS to make this all happen. Um, and this is uh, partially because I was asked a question by Christopher um, about how to move the button within the image banner to be in the left or the right in the Dawn theme. So that's what we're doing today. We are getting to this question. If you have questions, please comment them below. And hopefully I can figure out how to do them or and have a quick answer for you or like a make a tutorial like I am right now. So, oh yes, and then all of this will be, we, we will be working in the repository. So I will upload the code to GitHub and I'll put that link in the, into the show notes as well as a uh, pinned comment if I remember. I think I will. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. I have my code open, my Dawn Shopify code, and I have it running as well. So I can go, so I have it, I logged into my store and then I served the theme. So I can go here into the editor. Oops, boop -a doop boop -a doop I'm actually, this was my old login when I was showing you the changes that we made, that we're going to make. And I think that we will have a good time making these changes because it, once you know where to look and what to do, it can be more straightforward, I think, than um, for do, doing a task like this, for me at least. And hopefully it will all come together. So again, if I go into image banner, I can change this bottom, center, top. Okay, so that's what we have right now. So if I go command P and I go to image banner dot liquid, right now I am scrolling to the bottom to where the schema is and I'm going to look for desktop text position. And so see here we have desktop uh, position label and this is coming from our schema. So if I go to can P um, the JSON schema and if I go back to image banner and I look up desktop box position, command F, desktop box position. I can see the labels are top, the label is center, and the label is bottom. And this is for desktop text position. Okay, so that's what's going on here. So again, top, it's going to give the value of flex start. So let's try to find actually where else this is ha happening on the page, the desktop text box position. So again, command F, and then I can search it, and I want to go to the first occurrence of it. So I go all the way up here and I can see that I have banner content, banner content switches when this selection is added to it. So let's also look up banner content. So I'm going to search this. Just I have Visual Studio Code open and I can see that banner content is also in the section banner.css. So um, let's see where else that happens. Boop -a -doo. Okay, at max width, it's going to happen. Uh, and we want to focus right now at, let's see, I want to find the right. Okay, we want to focus on just desktop is when we want this to happen. And as you can see here, we see that where the banner content with flex end, flex start, and flex center are occurring. So that's for aligning items. Now, if we right click, if we click inspect, and my inspector opened over here. 
we can see that when we make the changes, it's happening to banner, banner content, right? It's aligning the item center right now because we picked center. But the thing is, it's always justified center. So if we do flex end, it's going to go to the right. And if we do flex start, it's going to go to the left. So it's all about justifying to make it go left or right. And this won't impact the aligning. So we can still have it go vertically as well as horizontally. So that's what we're trying to do right now. So let's leave this open. Let's go back to our image banner liquid. And let's go to where it is down here. OK, so what we're going to do is we're going to copy this whole select. Doop -a -doo. Just Command C and V. And let's call this uh, desktop. Let's see, what did I call it? Mm, trying to remember. Let's do desktop text box side. That's kind of what I called it. Um, and then we're going to give this the value of right. And we're going to give this the label of right. Again, we can go and we can do the same thing in our schema and we can actually put in the labels there. But for the case of this, we just want um, like the labels aren't, we're not changing languages. If I was changing languages and I cared about this theme being fully developed, I would also add them. You know what? We might as well do it correct way. So you can, it's not, there's no right or wrong, but you could copy it the exact same way it's done here and put it in here. In our case, I think it's fine. I'm just going to um, hard code basically the labels and the values. But again, remember that this is an option. If you go to T sections, entrepreneurs, settings, then instead of desktop box position, you put desktop box side and do the same thing in your schema. You could gra grab the labels that way as well. And let's make this label center. And then let's do default center and let's make the label for this whole select uh, desktop horizontal selection. Okay. And let's save that. And then let's grab desktop box side. So that's what we called it, the ID. Let's go up here. And I'm just going to paste this here. And then I'm going to copy this whole part. It says banner content. And I'm going to I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to leave it like section dot settings. But instead of desktop text box position, I'm going to add our new side setting in here. So we're going to save that. And then let's go into our CSS. And remember that we called banner content right and left and center. But for center, we just want to leave it the same. So we don't need to focus on that. But we definitely know that one of our selections is right. And we want to justify content flex end if it's right. And then if it's left, we want to justify content flex start. So let's save that and let's see what's going on here. Okay. So I think we should get an error, but let's just see if my intuition is correct. I think it's not going to show because it's not in an important spot. Oh, okay. We're not getting an error. Wait. Oh, I see. Okay. Got it. Last time I didn't fully um, register it. Okay. So that's really all it needs to do. Um, I was thinking that let's go to the index.json for the templates. Um, as you can see, it starts here with the settings of desktop text position flex end for the section. I thought we were going to have to also include our new setting in there. But I think this is just um, kind of what you initially see on the home page. Um, so yeah, okay, great. So it is now working. We can see it go to the left. We can see it go to the right. And you can reorder all of this and we can make it go right and center, right and top. So there we go. That is the tutorial. Christopher, I hope this helped out. 
And again, feel free to write any questions in the comments and hopefully I can get to them. And with that, I say adieu, have a great day, and hope you learned something. Hope to see you in the next part. Bye.